Alright, what is up fellow riders? This is an update on my Zebra e-bike from my bedroom. It's a little bit messy, so don't mind that guys. And first of all, let's see how many, what's the distance that we have traveled so far. Let me uh, try to adjust this. Gotta brighten it so you guys can see it. Okay, the distance I've traveled, it's six, five, six, four, seven. 647.1 just over here 647.1 total distance i've traveled and this is an update uh, to share with you guys how it has my zebra been uh, for the past 640 something kilometers all right so let's have a look at the spokes let's have a look at the spokes i'm gonna do a close-up of the spokes so far, none of my front wheel spokes has broken off. Everything's intact. Tires, okay. Look at. Let's have a look at the tires. The front tires. The tread is still there. Everything is perfect for the front tire. The throttle is fine because I have, you know, uh, used this Ziploc bag to. To tighten to you know make a protection uh, and cable tie it everything is fine with the throttle handlebar as well everything is good with the handlebar no shaky stem the battery is no, there's no issue with the battery as well the motor it's fine pedal pedal it's all functional working the stand is all right oh whoa let's have a look what's going on here so we have a flat tire we have a flat tire before before we go into that let's have a look, look at the spokes of the rear tire all right let's have a look at the spokes of the rear tire rear rims rear spokes okay it's not able to cap capture very well but from what i see from here is that you know off camera what i see is everything is still intact no broken spokes as well the rims are fine and and here we have a rear burst and here we have a tube desk burst so what the, so this is the second time this week that it had happened what i feel is that because I have added quite an amount of weight at the back, especially during stack orders. So I have my version 3 GrabFoot Thermal Bag at the back. And of course, I'll be sitting down a 50, a 60 kg will be sitting down at the back. So it really adds weight to the rear wheel, rear tires. And the first time when I actually went there, went to the shop to have the tube replaced, the the technician actually told me that it actually bursts from the inside so in other words it's not that it's not that you know there's a needle going through the t tire and it bursts from inside nothing of that sort what happened is that what what he said what the technician said is that because of the inner the inner rims the inner rims the inside part of it okay it's it's quite sharp so it actually burst the tire it actually caused the tire to burst and he actually added a plastic kind of a pla i do not exactly know what's the name for that he actually added a plastic protection inside of it so it prevent it actually prevents it from bursting it that's what he claims but uh this is what happened for this this is something that happened for the second time this week so yeah this is i just want to run an update for you guys on how my zebra has been for the past 640 something kilometers what i intend to do next is that i intend to change to a let's start off with a tube first let's start off by changing to a better tube first someone recommended cst jerry jerry actually recommended cst tube so jerry if you guys do not know who jerry is uh you can watch his video he actually did a review on the riverside 900 
bicycle and as well as his Pikachu setup. Very cute, very funny, interesting. Go and watch it. And Jerry actually recommended to change to CSD tube. I did not exactly ask what tube is in in this zebra right now, but I doubt it's CSD as well. Uh, let, yeah, let, let me let me change it tomorrow, CSD. And yeah, probably probably I might do an, an, an update once again for you guys. You know, maybe another 600 kilometers. I'll do an update again on the Zebra Model 3. Yeah, this is uh, just a short update for you guys. Yeah, by the way, if you guys are ex more experienced than me for this Zebra e-bike, please leave a comment on what should I change. Should I change the entire rim itself because it's very sharp or should I change to a CSD tube like what Jerry mentioned or what kind of tube that's the highest quality that would, you know, there's, I know there's no such thing as uh, burst proof <laughs> but something close to that would be would be great. So yeah, leave, it, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Advise me uh, for the first time. Advise a guide to grab food on what tube I should change because this uh, this you know these are technical stuff. I'm not so great at technical stuff. I only know how to ride, you know, do deliveries and and whatnot. So yeah, I'm sure most of you, I'm sure some of you over here that's watching my videos are, you know, are very technical. Actually, technicians, you know, and actually more technical, uh, more has have more technical knowledge than me. So I would appreciate it if you guys leave a comment down below and there you have it. This is an update of the Zebra Model 3. Other than grab food vlogging and delivery hacks, from time to time I do reviews as well. Why don't you share with me on something that you'd like me to review next and you should watch the other vehicles that I've reviewed on the top right or check out one of my most updated playlists that I've selected for you. Fellow riders, see you on the streets.